This is another sort of foreign policy issue, and I, I loosely mentioned this during my Ukraine segment earlier to start the show off. Uh, but the 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 fact that Biden has done nothing about millions of starving Afghans is to me very worthy of coverage. This is in the Intercept. Family members of 9-11 victims call on Biden to unfreeze Afghan funds. The families asked the White House to help end the mass starvation crisis in Afghanistan by releasing the country's U.S.-held foreign reserves. New guidance from the Treasury Department provides a pathway. This is by Daniel Bogoslaw and Austin Allman. And just for the context, you guys, the reason that, that the 9-11 victims' families kind of matter here is because one of the excuses Biden has given for seizing those assets is that he is going to give it out to you know the families of 9/11 victims. Now, there's a few things we could say about that. First of all, if you'd like to provide compensation to the victims of 9/11, you have the power of the purse. Do it yourself. Don't go don't go starve Afghans so that you can do so. You can do it yourself. Right. So they're just hiding behind that. But that is why why, you know, this is framed from the 9-11 victims families perspective. OK. Um, and 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 secondarily, though, the, the people of Afghanistan did not do 9-11. You guys, in fact, one of our closest allies, Saudi Arabia, was most involved with with 9-11. But we've continued to support their genocide in Yemen. We continued to arm them and fund them and consider them allies. Right. And geopolitically align with them. So this this pretending that this is about 9-11 thing is beyond outrageous. It's completely disconnected from reality. And, it, and it's a very disgusting thing to cynically and politically weaponize in this manner, um, you know, to, to, to force millions into food insecurity and then hide behind this. I, it's just disgusting. You guys absolutely fucking disgusting. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to make sure everybody understood the, the sort of the context here. We'll dive into the article. More than 20 years after September 11th, family members of those killed in the 2001 attacks have a message for the U.S. government. Release Afghanistan central bank assets before millions of civilians die of starvation. There is not only a moral imperative in doing this, there is also a, na uh, a national security interest in doing this and preventing Afghanistan from sliding into total collapse, said Terry Rockefeller, whose sister died at the World Trade Center on 9-11. Rockefeller is a member of September 11th Families for Peaceful Tomorrows, an organization formed by family members of those killed on 9-11 to oppose the war in Afghanistan. In February, the Biden administration announced that it would split over that it would split over $7 billion in Afghan assets held in the New York Federal Reserve Bank between a pool of potential settlements for families of 9-11 victims and an ambiguously defined trust fund for the benefit of the Afghan people. The White House has yet to clarify when and how it will release the money, wary of the perceived legal and political repercussions and a company, uh, that accompany transferring cash to the Afghan Central Bank lest it be seen as giving money to the Taliban. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki told reporters on February 15th that the administration was incapable of releasing any of the frozen funds, that's bullshit, by the way, uh, funds until pending litigation has ended. But legal experts have dismissed that claim. On Friday, the Treasury Department is uh, issued a new general license to allow economic transitions, transactions, excuse me, guys, with a suite of Afghan entities, including the country's central bank, the Afghanistan Bank, signaling a potential first step toward unfreezing the funds. The White House did not respond to a request from The Intercept to clarify whether it stood by Saki's comments. The State Department reiterated the administration's intentions to divert $3.5 billion into a trust fund, but would not specify whether it believed that the administration had the power to immediately release those funds. Um, so again, I want to draw the comparison, you guys. The sense of urgency that you feel about Ukraine right now and that the media presents about Ukraine right now. And again, I'm not trying to minimize Right. I sincerely, the people of Ukraine are in my thoughts. OK, not trying to minimize at all, but the emphasis placed there. Why is that emphasis not placed on this situation? Why is why is the administration allowed to just drag their fucking feet while Afghans starve to death? Why is that allowed? Why is that OK? Why is there no urgency there? Why isn't the press all over this? Why aren't we getting thirteen hundred stories in the major outlets about this? Um, You know, it just. It goes to show you how the press operates and the dynamics that sort of drive press coverage, right? Um, so, you know, what do you even say? Shame on Joe Biden, as I often end my segments with. Shame on Joe Biden for this. You're causing Afghans to starve. And you're trying to hide behind, like, this virtue signal that you're doing it for the victims of 9-11. 
I mean, do you guys remember there was this Family Guy clip they where uh, and and Hillary ended up accidentally mimicking it, but Lois like ran for governor or something or, or mayor, I think it was. Um, and and she's being pressed about how she's allowing all this toxic dumping in the local lake, right? And all she kept saying was 9-11 was bad. And then the crowd would just like erupt into cheers, right? And 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 they'd ask another specific question about the dumping or whatever, and she'd be like, 9-11 was bad, and they all just erupt in a plus. Hillary Clinton ended up doing the same thing where she said in response to a question about her her um serving wall street instead of serving the people she said you know where i was on 9 11 i was there in new york and that's where wall street is and right they literally just think they can answer anything by saying 9 11 was bad and that's what the biden administration is doing here while they starve civilians they're saying 9 11 was bad so it's okay what incoherent drivel and yet the media runs with it and plays stenographer for the Biden administration. Most of the time, the intercept, they're doing some good reporting. Um, so, again, outrageous justification from the Biden administration to allow Afghan civilians to fucking starve to death. And this should should be getting a whole hell of a lot more coverage than it has. We'll keep up on that story as it continues to develop.